Hey guys, Architect JJ here and I'm going to teach you on how to render using the Ray Tracer of the Ilax Evo. So this is actually a request tutorial that I got from a messenger on how to render using the Ray Tracer in the Ilax Evo. Now, so technically, right after the calculation, the default setting of the white balance is actually on a standard mode and the brightness level is on a brighter side. So don't rely on this default setting because it doesn't give you an accurate brightness or an, an accurate color temperature that you need for a certain environment for a certain project. So what you're going to do is that you have to manually adjust the setting of the white balance and the brightness. But before that, you need to set up first the camera view of your rendering scene like this one i'm going to use this view and then adjust the white balance depending on the environment like for example this project it's a restaurant project so it's going to be on a warm white environment now click on the manual setup of the white balance setting now as for a warm white environment I usually use or adjust the white balance setting between 3000 to 3500 Kelvin depending on how warmer the textures of the room. Now for this project, I'm using 3400 Kelvin and then as for the brightness level, I usually use this in all my projects and adjust the brightness level 3 bar darker from the default setting now as you can see with the result by manually adjusting the white balance and the brightness level we have an accurate warm white environment and a better contrast of the ambience and then after setting up the white balance and the brightness level click on the save new view to save the settings and the camera view and rename it let's rename it probably camera one and then go to the Ray Tracer tab, adjust the resolution to the maximum to achieve that better quality of the photo. Check on the HDR and then click on the Start Ray Tracing. So usually the Ray Tracing will take up around 3 to 5 minutes. So this is the result of the rendering using the Ray Tracer. Rename the file. And click on save image to save the photo after that adjust the brightness contrast and the color balance on the Photoshop and just do the same method onto the rest of the renderings so that's it guys I'll see you on to the next episode feel free to share subscribe and click that notification bell to get real-time updates on the upcoming episodes of our dialogues masterclass I'll see you.